My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. We've got a mean green machine sitting right here. Is this a hot looking car? 71 Torino, it's been rotisserie restored. They stuffed a 460 big block under that hood. They put the shaker hood on there, C6 automatic trans, four wheel disc brakes, got a lot going for it. Go to volocars.com, that's where you can read all the specs, study over 100 pictures, and that's where you find the prices on all of the collector cars that we offer for sale. That's at volocars.com. If you enjoy these videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on that bell icon. That way you're notified as the new ones are posted. But for right now, join me and let's go for a spin. Yeah, we were told it was rotisserie restored. That means this car was flipped on its side. They did the whole bottom of the car and uh, it's really nice under there. All the metal, the frame rails, the seams, the welds, everything is nice, clean, straight, proper. Uh, and it has like a thin rubberized undercoat on the floor and it looks really nice and sanitary. Uh, I was telling you they uh, upgraded the four wheel disc brakes. So the whole system's been upgraded. Uh, the e-brake assembly, all of that's done. Uh, you look up at the motor, it's real nice and clean. Got a high torque starter. Uh, it's the heavy duty C6 automatic transmission. Uh, the drive shaft looks nice and clean. Has a Ford 9 inch in the back with the 3 to 1 ratio. Uh, the suspension and steering's all rebuilt. Up front, all the components are clean, but it also has the bushings, ball joints, uh, steering components. Uh, a lot of that stuff does look new. It's got polyurethane bushings in the front sway bar. They've also added a rear sway bar, and it has coil over shocks in back, in addition to the leaf springs. Uh, and the leaf springs have new bushings. So it's all been a part redone. The fuel system was replaced. Uh, tank is still nice and clean. Has a real nice, uh, nicely installed dual exhaust system. And uh, it's kept tucked up, it's not hanging down. The tailpipes are up behind the quarters there with a turned down uh, tip. So they did a nice job with the exhaust. I don't know what I'm forgetting under there, but front to back, uh, it's very clean and restored uh, very well from what I could see. The body, I mean, it's a good looking car. The, the black and the shaker and the wheels and the stance and the color, everything about it is just really cool. Um, the body is nice and clean. I just did my thing. I went around and wiped it a little bit and I didn't find a, a blister or bubble or a crack. Uh, the body appears to be in really nice shape. Fits really well, it's all metal fender. The roof, nice, straight, no issues. This can be a problem area on any car right here and it all looks good. This all looks good, nice and square, no damage. It's straight, no rust, no damage. The body lines all look really good. Now the paint, a sharp looking metallic green color. The metal flake is laid out evenly. Same color green all around. It has a nice clear coat. It looks very deep. It looks like you can reach into it. And when the sun or the, the lights really hit it, it almost has like a golden color. So a really neat paint job. Polished out beautifully. There are a few nicks in the paint. There's a nick on the edge of the hood there. Right on the very edge. Now this black is painted on. Uh, it's got the hood locks. They look like they're originals. They got a little wear on them. Uh, correct antenna. Here's a nick that's been touched up nicely. Uh, windshield's real nice and clear. The moldings are straight. It's got Cobra emblems on it. It's got a front spoiler. The bumper is re-chrome. The bezels, the grill, all that looks really nice. There's a decent sized chip right here with a scratch next to it. Someone must have dropped something on here. The body's not damaged, but the paint is. 
And I think there was one more. Oh, right here. That's the last one I was looking for. There's a chip right on the end there. Uh, back bumper is nice and shiny. You got the blacked out tail panel with the Cobra emblem. And it's rolling on 15 inch torque thrust wheels uh, with some Firehawk tires. All that looks to be in excellent shape. The back wheels are significantly wider than the front wheels. Yeah, this car just has a toughness about it. I like that sloped rear window too, now that I'm standing right here. Uh, so there you have it. Let's open it up and check out what's inside. All right, let's check out what's inside this big old trunk here. First thing I notice is the paint. The paint's beautiful under the trunk lid, the jam, uh, the wheel wells are all painted really nice. Up under this mat, yeah, look how nice that's painted. Isn't that sharp? I love the color too. Uh, the quarter panels are nice and clean. I don't, I don't feel any splices. And we got a nice, uh, nice rubber mat here, new weather strip, a nice big old clean trunk compartment. Color, I think, is one of the biggest reasons I bought this car. It just looks really good. Now check out the door panel. Real nice, straight, clean door panel. It has the Cobra emblem. The door jams are painted real nice. The rubber is real good. Inside the car has got some fancy upgrades. Uh, we've got a really nice custom cushion grip leather steering wheel. The dash pad has been professionally reupholstered. I will say the instrument le uh, lens or the gauge is a little yellowed, a little tarnished. And they did sneak a tachometer in this first opening here. It's kind of like a race car. Those gauges, they're kind of aimed at the driver. Uh, kind of cool. Then we got a retro stereo down here. And a ratchet, I think it's a B&M shifter on the floor. Uh, nice carpets and mats. And you might have noticed the uh, seats. I mean, they're pro car, like sport seats. Uh, I sat in the seat coming in here. It's like you're getting a nice cozy hug. You fit right in there. That's so you stay planted in the seat when you're whipping around the corners. Uh, it's got seat belts front and back. They look like they're new. Uh, I don't know where the lever is for the seat. But anyway, the back seat, they did upholster with the cloth inserts that's very similar to the front seat, so it all ties together. You got six by nine speakers in back. The headliner's new, and they managed to do it without wrinkles. The dome light works. So you got a nice interior. Just a combination of all of it. The color, the shaker, the stripes, the big motor. That's what really sold me on the car. It's a different car. It's a unique car. But it all came together. Yeah, big 460 engine, aluminum intake, MSD ignition with a blaster 2 coil. Um, some nice Cobra. It even says 460 on the uh, finned valve covers. I'm trying to see the exhaust manifolds. They're stock cast iron manifolds. Uh, aside from a little dusty, look how clean the metal is. Uh, the seams and spot welds, it's all real nice. The bolts on the fender. The battery is secured properly. The fan shroud and fan look proper. It does have power, power steering. It has manual brakes, but remember they're four-wheel disc. Got a bit of a cam in this motor. It, it's built. It'll scoot along real well. Fuel pump looks new. Uh, it's a demon, big demon carburetor hiding underneath the uh, shaker air cleaner there.
there you have it. That truck's big enough to fit several people in there. Uh, cool car, like it a lot. You don't have to spend a hundred grand to go to a car show and be really proud. I really think out on the street, this thing's going to get thumbs up. It's going to get the looks. It's going to steal the attention, and you're just going to enjoy driving it. So it's going to make a really good car for someone who uh, doesn't want to spend six figures on a muscle car. I just gave you my impression. Go to volocars.com. Plenty of ways to speak to the salesman. If you have questions or concerns, make sure you talk to them. They'll help you the best they can. They can get this delivered to your driveway. They can help you finance it at volocars.com. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, subscribe, click on the bell icon, and you'll be the first to see the next one posted. Thanks for watching.